first step in cleaning a yucky yucky stove i just got a full-time job a month and a half ago and things are getting pretty behind take a paper towel wet it slightly and then go around and capture all the yuckies this way you can easily throw it away use another bundle of paper towel if you need to once you get all of this crumbs and crud out of the way. Take take your bone of me, or here's the bone of me. Either bone of me, it says, hasn't scratched yet, or the barkeeper's friend, both very inexpensive cleaners. I don't care which one you use, but all the spillover stuff that was left behind after we removed the cr crumbs and crusties, um, sprinkle a little of this really affordable powder all over there take your nice sponge and get to work this way give your sponge a nice clean rinse and then use the spongy side to just wipe all the streaks away and with that bone of me and barkeeper's friend it just leaves a nice shine and we'll come back and dry that off with a flour sack cloth here in a minute. Take your clean flour sack cloth. They don't always wash the widest, but I love how absorbent and workable they are. And then just start shining away on this. And there we go. I like to scrub the grates uh, in the sink with just water and what I use with my cast iron pans because you're not supposed to strip them with dish soap. And then I just dry them with the flour sack cloth. And now you can see that was the before look. And that's the after and it was very simple. And now I got to get to work yet again.